Schumann Printers is a family-owned company in Fall River. Um, we are on our third generation of ownership. Uh, we employ about 165 full-time employees, and this week we have 45 temps. That 45 number changes every week depending on the amount of production that we have. Uh, we are a special interest magazine producer and mailer, so our work fluctuates depending on what's going on in the, in the world, I guess. Um, our philosophy with the aging population is, is it's part of our job to help our employees. A lot of our employees have been there for years. Um, every year we make a poster that's got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35 year employees on it. And we hear from the outside people that visit our plan that they are amazed at how many people are on that list every year. I think that that in itself takes us into what our philosophy is. We have several people that, well I guess I would say in our percentages, we're probably 40% um, of our population is over 50. When I was recruiting uh, about 10 years ago, I was um, confronted with an elderly couple. They were 62 and 67 years old, sick of sitting at home at night watching TV, needed to get out of the chair, heard we were looking for some production workers and wanted to know if we had any openings on second shift that they could both do together. And that was our eye opener to what is really going on in the aging population and how we can work with them. They came to work for us, learned our jobs on the production line. They loved the simplest of jobs just because they got to socialize, they could help, and they understood that those are jobs that people don't always want to do. They have an understanding in the workforce that taught us all that we need to appreciate that fact. So every day as we go to hire employees for the floor, most of the production floor is where any of our turnover will be. We do get a lot of them out of high school that, as Anne referred to, the texting is their priority. Work is not. So the elderly people are the ones actually teaching that, and they teach it in a way that is it's very natural. So our, our, what we do is we count on the natural ability of adults to teach each other. We use peer pressure backwards, I guess I refer to it a lot, because it's what it is. If the kids are outside texting and not doing their jobs, the elderly people are the ones. And I say, and when I talk elderly, it's tough for me to say. Carrie said to me when we had our conversation last week, you keep talking about the 65 and older. I'm talking about 50 and older. I don't consider anybody elderly, I guess, but for this discussion, I have to get used to referring it to that. Our philosophy is everybody is equal. Everybody has a capability. If you can't do the job because you're physically unable to do it, whether you're 18 or whether you're 80, we're going to adjust the workplace. We will terminate you if you can't come to work and you don't respect the, res the responsibility you have to let us know you're not coming to work. On a production floor, it's a lot different than when you're in the medical facilities just simply because you got a machine that's talking to you. And if four people decide not to show up, what's that machine going to do? I guess in, not to medical field, I mean, it's got patients too, but for the most part, for us, that's, that's our, our income is coming. That's the biggest thing to teach kids these days. They don't understand business, and they don't understand that you have to be there every day to make your paycheck. And the aging population has been a big teacher for that. So I guess our philosophy is quite open. Um, we can talk about the older people. We have a receptionist that is um, turning 70. And she said to me yesterday when I left and she knew where I was coming, she said to me, she said, can I go as your example? <laughs> but she got to an age where she said, okay, I'd like to work part-time. Can you find somebody to do this job two days a week? I'll keep doing it three days a week. So we actually do job share um, in her situation. We have more in the office that ask for those things. We had one that um, 
came to us five years prior to retirement, um, had been a long-term employee, requested, um, hers was on the financial side. She wanted her money from the future to be paid now, put in an account so she could draw on that account after she retires. So we really, it was, in my world, it was a lot like the 401k, but it was a different investment tool that she wanted to use, and we made it work. Um, so we basically prepaid her for five years, and then after she goes into <coughs> slowdown, as we're all calling it, where she's only going to work two weeks a month, she's still going to continue to get paid full time out of her account that she set up, that we set back here. Will we do that for every employee? It, everyone is going to be treated on the individual basis based on their request. We've had others that have come to us and, um, oh, they, they want to retire, but they don't really want to not work. They want to take a reduction in position, um, still get the benefits, which we allow. Um, Wages, they don't really want us to reduce the wages. They want to keep getting the same pay for doing less. And at some point, you have to weigh whether that's right or wrong. And our company's philosophy, I mean, because we are a long-term employees there, and they're very family-driven, those discussions don't, they don't go in the negative way, but everyone is considered a different way. There's, we they have to be creative to allow those people that flexibility. If they want to do something less, we have about four jobs that um, makes that have to be done, and those people understand all of that work. So even in the offices and the administration, they are allowed to take on some of that other tasks. And the person whose job they maybe are taking, you know, they they step up. They start to learn something else, not necessarily each other's, but we go well-rounded, so we have a good mix and always have a backup for everybody. I mean, that's always the key, because you never really quite know when any of us, no matter what the age, is going to get hit by that beer truck. That's our philosophy. Watch out for the beer truck. Yeah. <laughs> but we do prep for those days, because that is good. I mean, it does happen. And you shared that just on a day-to-day -day basis, even that you offer flexibility. If somebody's having an off day or they're not feeling good, you... In all of the departments, especially on the production floor, if you are not keyed in to your employees' behavior of the day, you're going you're gonna to have work on injuries because you're not paying attention. Our managers, our supervisors all talk to their people. They communicate a lot. And if somebody's having a bad day, they move them. If they are on a job where they're constantly um, picking up magazines to box them and they got bruises on their fingers and they're starting to complain about it, they move them. They put them in a different job, a different line where they're not dealing with the boxes to allow those fingers to heal. If they're complaining that their wrists are sore, they watch them to see if they're doing things right. There is simple movements in a, in a production area. When you're picking up magazines, this is our simple one, if you're picking up magazines and you pinch them, you're going to make carpal tunnel. If you pick them up and leave your thumb up, it strengthens your muscles. Thanks to the Columbus Hospital for teaching us that 15 years ago. But that in itself, our managers watch for and if they see those kind of movements they're talking to the people about it and if they are having a bad day because they didn't sleep well last night because their 16 year old son didn't come home when he was supposed to we work with them and we move them so they're not in a job that's going to hurt them we give them the easy work as we all call it but all of our employees know that on a given day when you need it you're going to get the easy job nobody fights it nobody claims that they always get that work we just don't have any of that and I think it's because the company's philosophy is make it work with the people you have so they want to come to work. 